Ever wondered how you can feed your plants without buying any fertilizer? Well, let's dive into the world of liquid fertilizer, a nutrient-packed solution that your plants will love. This isn't just about saving money, although that's a great bonus, it's about creating a sustainable, environmentally friendly way to nurture your plants. Liquid fertilizer is a resourceful way to recycle kitchen waste, turning what would be trash into a treasure trove of nutrients. This is a practice that is cost-effective and rewarding, allowing you to observe the growth and flourish of your plants firsthand. And here's the kicker, homemade liquid fertilizer can be just as effective, if not more so, than the store-bought ones. That's right, your kitchen scraps and garden waste could be the secret ingredient to a thriving garden. So, if you're ready to give your plants a nutrient-rich treat without hurting your wallet, stick around. First, we need to gather our ingredients. The beauty of this liquid fertilizer is that it can be made from almost any organic matter. That's right, folks. Almost anything that once lived can be used to nourish your plants, giving them a second life in a way. Let's start with green plant material. This includes things like grass clippings, leaves, or even prunings from your plants. These are often rich in nitrogen, a vital nutrient for plant growth. Plus, they're readily available in your garden, making them a sustainable and cost-effective choice. Next, we have kitchen scraps. You know those vegetable peels, coffee grounds, and eggshells you usually throw away? Well, they're actually treasure troves of nutrients. They can provide your plants with a wide range of essential elements, from carbon to trace minerals. So instead of tossing them in the bin, consider saving them for your liquid fertilizer. But what about weeds, you ask? Yes, even those pesky invaders can be useful in this process. As long as they're not seeding or diseased, weeds can be a great addition to your fertilizer mix. They often contain a variety of nutrients that can benefit your plants. Just make sure to remove any pests before adding them in. Now an important note, whatever materials you choose to use, ensure they are free from disease and pests. We want to feed our plants, not harm them. If you have any doubts about the health of your materials, it's better to leave them out. And there you have it a wide variety of organic matter that can be transformed into a nutrient-rich liquid fertilizer. It's all about seeing the potential in what we often consider waste and making the most of what nature provides us. Now that we have our ingredients, let's move on to the next step. Now, we're ready to start the fermentation process. Imagine you're a master chef and we're about to whip up a batch of nature's own finest cuisine for your plants. The first step in our recipe, adding water to the organic matter we've gathered. This initiates the magical process of fermentation. Picture the water as a catalyst, reviving the dormant microbes within the organic matter. As these tiny creatures spring to life, they begin breaking down the complex organic compounds into simpler, plant-ready nutrients. This is the essence of the fermentation process. However, it's not a set-it-and-forget-it kind of deal. Our microbial chefs need a bit of management. Stirring the mixture regularly is crucial. Think of it as stirring a pot of your favorite soup on the stove. It prevents the ingredients from settling at the bottom and ensures even cooking. Similarly, stirring our fermenting mix helps distribute the microbes evenly, facilitating a smoother breakdown of the organic material. And just like any good soup, this mix needs time to simmer. The fermentation process is not a sprint, it's more of a leisurely stroll. It might take a week, or two, or even up to a month, but remember, good things come to those who wait. During this period, you'll notice some changes. The mixture might bubble, heat up, and it emit a distinct aroma. Don't be alarmed. These are all signs that our microbial chefs are hard at work, transforming the organic matter into a nutrient-rich feast for your plants. So while it might be tempting to rush things, resist the urge. Let nature take its course. The microbes know what they're doing. They've been at it for billions of years, after all. Patience is key here. The fermentation process might take some time, but the result is worth the wait. Trust the process, and soon, you'll have a batch of the finest homemade liquid fertilizer ready to nourish your garden. Scene script. Once the fermentation process is complete, it's time to strain our fertilizer. Now, you may be wondering, how do we separate the liquid gold from the rest of the fermented matter? It's actually quite simple. You'll need a large container and a strainer. The strainer should have holes small enough to prevent solid matter from getting through, but large enough to let the liquid pass. A cheesecloth or fine mesh bag would work perfectly for this. Begin by carefully pouring the fermented mixture into the strainer, which should be placed over your large container. Remember to do this slowly to avoid any spillage. 
As the liquid filters through, the solid matter will be left behind in the strainer. This process might take some time, so patience is key here. You might also want to occasionally stir the mixture to help the liquid seep through faster. Now, don't be too quick to discard the solid matter left in your strainer. This nutrient-rich material can be put to good use in your garden. Consider adding it to your compost pile, where it will break down further and contribute to the creation of rich black compost. Alternatively, you could use it as mulch around your plants. It'll help to conserve moisture and suppress weeds, all the while slowly releasing nutrients back into the soil. After the straining process is done, you'll be left with a container full of liquid fertilizer. This homemade concoction is packed with nutrients and beneficial microbes that will help your plants thrive. It's an eco-friendly, cost-effective solution that's sure to give your garden a boost. And there you have it, your very own homemade liquid fertilizer. Now that we have our liquid fertilizer, how do we use it? Let's dive right into it. Using this homemade liquid fertilizer is a breeze. However, it's essential to remember that it's highly concentrated, so we need to dilute it before use. Think of it as a potent potion that we need to tame a bit for our green friends. To do so, mix one part of the liquid fertilizer with 10 parts water. This ratio ensures that our plants receive a balanced diet without any risk of nutrient overload. Application is pretty straightforward. You want to focus on the soil around the plants rather than the plants themselves. Pour the diluted mixture slowly around the base of your plants. This method ensures that the nutrients seep into the soil and get absorbed by the roots effectively. But how often should you feed your plants this magic potion? Well, it depends on the needs of your plants. As a general rule of thumb, applying this nutrient-rich solution once every two weeks during the growing season should suffice. However, for plants with a higher nutrient demand or during periods of rapid growth, you might want to increase the frequency. Remember, every plant is unique, and they all have their own nutrient requirements. So, observe your green buddies closely. If they look a bit pale or aren't growing as expected, they might be asking for a hearty meal. In case you're wondering, this liquid fertilizer is suitable for both indoor and outdoor plants. Whether you're growing roses in your backyard or nurturing a peace lily in your living room, this homemade liquid fertilizer has got you covered. So, not only have you created a nutrient-rich food for your plants, but you've also done so in an eco-friendly and budget-friendly way. Now, isn't that a win-win situation for you and your plants? So, what have we learned today? We've journeyed through the fascinating process of creating our own liquid fertilizer, and it's clear that this ancient method is more relevant than ever. From gathering readily available ingredients, to the fermentation process and finally straining, we've seen how simple it can be to create a nutrient-rich supplement for our plants. By using this homemade fertilizer, not only are we reducing waste and our reliance on store-bought products, but we're also nourishing our plants in a natural and sustainable way. The benefits are clear, healthier plants, richer soil, and a more vibrant garden. So why not give it a try? It's time to roll up those sleeves, get your hands a little dirty, and embark on this rewarding journey. Share your results, your triumphs, and even your lessons learned. Because every step you take contributes to a more sustainable future. Remember, a happy garden starts with healthy, well-fed plants, and now you know just how to do that without breaking the bank. Happy gardening!